Taking the green, the number 36 of Greg Wurzlicka wastes no time jumping out into the lead, but he has a challenge by Len Beebe, the side-by-side -side racing back through the field. At least the first four cars, Beebe puts the 38 on the point as he makes his way out of turn number four. Coming down the straightaway, he'll take down the lead the first time around. What a move by Ron Narducci, putting that car into the second spot on the speedway. Silas Siscock Sr., and that seven automobile is currently in the third spot on the track. As they make their way around the speedway, still running under green, the 38 of Len Beebe leading the way in our Legends Tour feature event. Narducci in the 44, running second. It looks like Silas Siscock in the third spot. And the 36 of Warzicka still making his presence known as he is in the fourth spot on the speedway. We'll look back through the field. The number six automobile making its way around the track as Vinny Esposito had a great, great heat run. He is currently in fifth, trying to hold off the charge of the 66 of Wally Silva. Excuse me, the double zero automobile of Pete Valeri. So some good, good action here in this legend car feature event. A lot of slicing and dicing going on from about fourth on back. But when they work off, turn number four and back down to the stripe, it is car number 38 still in the way. Currently running in second is car number 44. Of course, that is the uh, 44 machine of Ron Narducci having a great run so far. Currently running in the third spot in his car number seven. That is Silas Hitchcock, but the battle now is on for fifth. As you've got Pastrak now trying to work his way up to the front with car number five. We mentioned a few moments ago about a swarm of bees making their way around the track. It is really up the ante this time around with the legends with those 1,200 cc motors droning through the night air here at the Waterford Speed Bowl, leading the way, as we mentioned before, Len Beebe. But Ron Narducci has something to say about this. He is closing the gap each and every time around this third mile circuit here at the Speedway, doing a great job keeping the 38 in sight. As uh, Gary mentioned, Hiscock has made it the way over from Long Island in the seven. He's part of a two-car team with his son, and he's doing a great job out there. As Narducci will cross the start-finish line in first. This time, Len Beebe having some mechanical problems through with the 38, so he's going to make his way into the infield. We also have the 47 automobile making its way into the pits. That's Ralph Beaver headed behind the wall, so a war of attrition already started here with the New England Dodge Legends. Looking for a, pl a place on the track to pass Pastriac. Goes to the high side, looks to the inside, trying to find room. Of course, Cassius Clark in the number eight in that Willie's reproduction car, making his way out of turn number four right now, coming in front of the straightaway, is a great driver out of the state of Maine. He's trying to find some racing room as well as he makes his charge towards the front. Of course, the lap's melting away. Well, I'll tell you, the Connecticut driver, car number five of Pasek, was right down the road. He is currently up into second and is starting to close in on Narducci. Top three machines throw a blanket over them as they are running for that number one spot. The big question is, Pasek now will follow the tire tracks, but now opens up the door 
is Ben Sykes with car number 17. He slips out to the inside of the pass track machine, and now he'll work over the number one machine. Old Mario Ducci is the work down of turn number three. Here comes pass track one more time. He'll try to work to the inside as they run side by side. Sykes up to the outside. Pass track down to the inside. That's the best battle on the speedway, and it's for second. And I'll tell you, if Narducci takes a peek in his rearview mirror, he's going to see a great battle of two competitive drivers trying to close it on him. But we have two words for Narducci right now. It's called tunnel vision. Don't look back because it could get scary. We've got past react back there, Ben Sites side by side down the back straightaway, and probably about 30 car lengths, which doesn't take a lot for the Legends car. We've got a spin out there, a rather dramatic one as well. Out there, but it looks like that car will continue. We're still the great, track. Mark, and I'll tell you, we got a great battle for the number one spot. Is Narducci still in command? But pass track is right four. But now here comes Sykes to challenge for the number one spot. It's a battle of the red, right up in the front of this round. The 17 of Sykes up to the outside. The 44 of Narducci as they run wheel to wheel off of turn number four. The in the house, it's got to be past right. He's saying to himself now, do I go to the inside or do I go to the outside? As he mixes his blue machine in with those red machines, as they work down the back straightaway. The Budweiser, Bud Light, NASCAR, Rickler Racing Story Scoreboard tells his story so far. The top four machines. Sites is still down to the inside. Now it up to the outside. But now here comes past right. That's the ball for second now. As they work midway down the back straightaway, they'll hit the Play down in turn number three. Give the second spot to Pastriac. Pastriac following. Sights around the track right now. Has the number five dialed in behind the 117. Narducci running out of track right now and running out of time. He has to catch these two drivers, keep them in sight, and then make his move next time around. Because this time, Hank Scarpa is showing the white flag to these drivers, so it's going to be a drag race for these three drivers. The New England Dodge Legends Tour here at the Waterford Speed Bowl, putting on a tremendous show. Ben Stites, Chris Pastriak racing it out as they make their way towards the checkered flag. Ben Stites will take home the win. Chris Pastriak second, Narducci in the third spot, and there's Cassius Clark taking home the fourth spot on the speedway. Talk about excitement here at the Waterford Speed Bowl. These Legends cars provide it each and every time. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in going to tell us all about this Legends race. Well, thank you, Mark. Quickly, we'll talk to these top four drivers. Ron Arducci with car number 44. He unstraps. We'll do the interview right from inside the car. Uh, you're up. You know what it was to be in the number one spot, but uh, you still got to be happy. Finish third. Uh, I'm real happy. Uh, couldn't hold on there. It's a little, a little loose coming off, and they got a good run on me, and uh, they both got under me with a couple laps to go. I wish I could have held them off, but uh, I want to thank uh, John Simlick, uh, Stadium Motors, Foreign, Foreign Auto Park, car, uh, park Car Parts. Uh, just kind of hoping I could hang on here. Doug Sagala, who owns my car, his mother passed away a couple weeks ago. I was going to dedicate this to her, but uh, Doug Sagalo for letting me drive the car, and, uh, you know, Thank you very much for uh, having us here. Good run for Ron Arducci, Jr. with car number 44. Another driver who was challenging for the number one spot, the Dolly's Auto Center Machine car number five for Chris Pastrack. You finished second. Tell us about it. Yeah, not bad. Uh, ben got by me in traffic, and uh, he was able to go on in a win. It was, it was a lot of fun coming from the back. You guys were really slicing and dicing there. Yeah, I, I hope it was a pretty good race from the stands anyway. Uh, it felt like it was. Okay, that's Chris Pastrack. He finishes second here tonight. But the gentleman that proudly displays the checkered flag here on Franklin Impression Night and Scout Night here at the Waterford Speed Bowl, it's this gentleman, the driver of car 117, Ben Sides. As uh, the photographs once again being clicked off down here in the winner's circle, we'll get him over here and we'll have a word with him about his win here at the Waterford Speed Bowl. How about a big round of applause for our winner, Ben Sides, pulls off the victory. Congratulations. Tell us about your win. Yeah, it was a good win. Me and Chris and Ron, we were running real hard, and uh, it was good racing. I'd like to thank Dodge and Waterford for having us here. Okay, tell us about the event itself. 
Uh, we, well, me and Chris started in the back, and we worked our way up, and uh, it was just racing. It was good, clean racing, and uh, I'd like to thank Peter Valeri and all the guys that back at Cape Cod. Okay, that's Ben Sykes. He pulls off the legend win here tonight. Let's send the back upstairs to the broadcast booth.